Welcome to Anaker Workshop. This is my first YouTube video and I'm really excited to get into it. So today our project is going to be making a tool holder that holds leather stamps and like your awl and dividers, just a bunch of different stuff that are really hard to organize otherwise. So we're going to be making a holder for that. But first I wanted to kind of talk about what this channel is going to be and what I hope to create here. So this is going to be a channel mostly devoted to crafting things basically. So we're going to make woodworking projects like this bench and you know French cleats, tool organization, shop infrastructure. We're going to be doing a lot of that at the beginning. We're going to be getting into the leather working, creating bags, purses, wallets, you name it. I'd love to hear any input of things that you guys want to see me make. I'd make love to. I'd make just about anything. Um, and then later on, we're going to get into some metalworking, hopefully, and we'll be forging some steel and cutting things up and hitting things with hammers. So I'm really excited about it. But these first videos in this series is all going to be shop infrastructure and building organization. Uh, we want to build little boxes, and like this one holds all my little alligator clips, which is handy in leatherworking for holding pieces together. Um, this one holds an angle grinder. You know, we got different tool holders. I've got a little cabinet here. So we're going to be building a lot of this kinds of stuff and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make all these different things. But for today, uh, let's get into making an organizer for all of our leatherworking tools. See you there. So for our first step today, I've got this here organizer. And this was one that I bought off of Amazon a while ago and it just fell apart. So what I want to do is I want to take this idea of multiple holes in thin panels and I want to create a more robust version of this that can then be clamped up onto the wall with the rest of my things. So I've already got these hole bits and these are specifically sized for each size that I want. This is as small as I want to go. It's a little bit bigger than these holes were, but these holes are too small to hold uh, these Tandy stamps, basically. So a few of these have a larger diameter. So like you can see, this stamp has a smaller diameter than this stamp does. So we're going to have to make a variance of holes. So I'm going to do most of my holes with this guy so that I can get more rows. But then I think I'm going to do one or two rows with this guy, which is a little bit bigger for these larger shanks. And then I'm going to do a row of these guys, which are much larger. And those will hold um, various things like these stamps here so that we can get everything organized. So uh, let's get some wood cut down.
we have it. We've got ourselves a tool organizer. It holds all of our leather working tools. They're nice, they're easy access. You can get to everything here. You can see what you got on the wall, which is really important. And coolest thing is, is if we want to, we can just take the whole box with us and work with this anywhere we want. So that's the idea behind my whole shop that I'm building here is everything is mobile, everything is on wheels, this table is on big industrial casters, all of my walls are going to have French cleats, so everything is going to be adjustable and adaptable so that when we add new things to our shop, we can easily change what's already here to fit the new tools. I already have a bandsaw that needs a spot, I have a table saw that needs a spot, a chop saw, a router, We've got lots of projects to do, so I'm really excited about the next one, but this one was a lot of fun, so I hope you join me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to